Okay, let's go ahead and find the derivative of a function using the product rule. And here is the function we're going to be working on in this particular video. So if you're watching a video, I assume you are uh, a calculus student. And if you're not a calculus student, you're clearly studying some calculus because uh, finding the derivative or the concept of the derivative is an elementary fundamental concept of calculus, which is an awesome uh, mathematics. So if you're studying calculus, that's really, really cool because it is quite interesting indeed. Uh, before we get going, let me introduce myself. My name is John. I'm a middle and high school math teacher. I'm also the founder of Tablet Class Math. I mostly focus on middle and high school math, but if you're interested, I'm gonna leave a link to my math program in the description of this video. And of course, I'm always posting videos on um, YouTube, calculus, middle school math, algebra, etc. So hopefully you'll consider subscribing to my channel and maybe even giving this a thumbs up if this helps you out with the product rule. Okay, so let's get into it. So first of all, when we're um, studying calculus, we're asked to find the derivative of all types of different types of uh, functions. Okay, so polynomial functions, functions that have products in them, trigonometric functions, et cetera, et cetera. So as you probably already know at this point, in your study of the calculus, there are a lot of rules. And the product rules, uh, the product rule, excuse me, is one of those just key fundamental rules that you're definitely gonna have to commit to memory. So let's go ahead and find the derivative of this particular function. This is a pretty nice basic example to illustrate the product rule. Okay, so let's go ahead and just get this in a little bit clearer writing. I already pre-wrote this uh, out. So here is our function h of x. And first of all, we're talking about the product rule. So product means what? It means something being multiplied by something else. So if we look carefully here, you can see we have one function. Maybe we we'll just write this here. We got one, not, well, it's a function, but we have something being multiplied by something else. So we have a product. So when we're asked to find the derivative, first derivative, h of prime of x here, okay, and we have a product going on, bells should go off and be like, okay, product, uh, derivative, how about the product rule? Now, that would be an excellent approach to doing this problem. Now, another way you could approach this problem is if you uh, simply forgot the product rule is you could just find the product, you can go and do all this multiplication, and then apply your knowledge of uh, finding the derivative from there. So that's another uh, route, and you should know that um, approach as well. But, you know, there are times where you're going to just have to simply use the product rules. There's no other options, okay, especially like a trigonometric type of functions, et cetera. But the point of this um, uh, video is just to illustrate the product rule and how to use it. Okay, so uh, again, so we uh, see that we have a product going on here. And here we have, when we, we look at this product, let's just go ahead and identify uh, the one of these terms here is like the first function. And here we just, uh, we'll identify this guy here as the second function. So F and S, and there's a number of different nomenclature uh, that you can use, notation you can use to illustrate um, uh, the product rule, but this is pretty straightforward. So let's just use this basic nomenclature here. So we have a function and it's made up of the first function times the second function. All right, that's h of x. h of x is the product or is equal to the product of this first function times this second function. Okay, so the product rule is basically this. If I want to find the first derivative, h prime of x, I can just follow this basic formula right here. Again, stylistically, and mathematic, uh, but there's variations in the mathematical notation. So in your notes, or your teacher might have given you the product rule a little bit differently than this, but it's still the same, believe me. So we have the first function times the second function. So it's just going to write for, uh, first function times second, second function plus first function times second function. So the, uh, the first derivative of this uh, function h of x is going to be the first function prime. So we're going to find the derivative of the first function. We're going to multiply by the second. Then we're going to add it to the first function times the derivative of the second function. So I like to kind of keep this notation nice and simple. So this is essentially the product rule. Okay, so if you can remember this, 
then you're going to be good to go anytime you're um, asked to find the derivative of a product. Okay. Now let's get into the problem here and write the notation out. So let's keep this in mind. So this is going to be our h of x now from our original function. We're going to find the derivative of the first function. Okay. So I'm just kind of just follow along. I'm just going to kind of write this out in uh, its appropriate um, notation. So I'm going to find the uh, first derivative. So d of d of x times, uh, I'm sorry, the, um, I'm going to find the derivative of the first function. So I'm going to write it like, like so. Okay. So this is the notation. 3x minus 2x squared, very carefully, and I'm going to multiply by that second function. Okay, I'm not taking a derivative of that second function. Now, remember, here is our problem. So keep this in mind. Big part of doing calculus is just keeping all your work nice and neat and organized and structured. So if you want to write this down to reference uh, the video as we go along. Okay, so this is the first function. That's the second function. All right. So I'm taking the derivative of the first function and multiplying by the second function. I'm going to add it to that first function, and I'm going to multiply by the derivative of the second function. So I'm just following the product rule uh, formula here. Okay. All right. So this is the way uh, it would be set up. Okay. And you should uh, definitely write this out. Okay. When you're showing your work in calculus, or so teacher can see. Oh, okay. They know how to. Uh, set up uh, the product rule um, uh, correctly, all right? Because if you make any mistakes from this point forward, at least your teacher can see, oh, okay, you know what you're kind of, you know, doing and you, you know, if you didn't set it up correctly, then they would be like, oh, your answer's wrong because you don't even understand the product rule. But if you set up the product rule correctly and you happen to make a little error along the way, well, that's a little bit different. Okay, so now we need to be able to uh, make sure you understand how to find the derivative of a function like this and the derivative of a function like this. So let's go ahead and uh, find the derivative of each of these little functions and then we'll plug everything back in and uh, simplify this. Okay, so let's take this first one. So how do we find the derivative of 3x minus 2x squared? Okay, so if we're using the product rule, you should already uh, be able to uh, find the derivative of polynomial functions like so. Okay, so here's a little one. So the first derivative is gonna be one times three. Okay, so that's gonna be three, and then we're gonna drop this down by a power, so that's gonna be one minus one or zero, so it's just gonna be three. Okay, now, if you're lost at this point in the video in terms of not knowing how this uh, derivative equals this, then you might wanna look at some other videos because the product rule is kind of a little bit further along in terms of uh, finding the derivative. Okay, but well, let's continue on here. So it's going to be 1 times 3 times x, and then we're going to drop this down to uh, x to the 0 power, which is 1, so that's 3. Now here, this is going to be 2, this little exponent, 2 times negative 2 is going to be negative 4, then it's going to be x, we're going to drop this down by 1, so that's going to be x to the first. All right, so if you know that the derivative of this is equal to this, then you're good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and find the derivative of 5 plus 4x. And then here, the derivative of a constant is 0. And then here we have this little 1. So 1 times 4 is just going to be 4. And then we're going to have this as x to uh, 1 minus 1 is 0. So this is just going to be 4. All right. Now, I didn't mean to kind of blast through uh, finding the derivative of these particular uh, functions here. But uh, this video, you know, its uh, focus is using the product rule. This is more of a different type of video in terms of finding uh, der uh, derivatives of basic uh, functions, polynomial functions, etc. Okay. All right. So if you're good to go and you understand that the derivative of this is that and the derivative of this is this, then we could just simply go ahead and plug everything back in. Okay. So let's go back up here to when we set things up. Okay, so this is the formula that we uh, set up for the product rule. Okay, so what we just did is we found the derivative of this and we found the derivative of that. And now we're just gonna plug in, okay, what we uh, just found, right, into this formula. Do you wanna write all this down so I'm not kinda going back and forth in the video too much uh, to confuse you, then that'd be okay. 
All right, so we're going to substitute this, the derivative for 3x uh, minus 2x squared, all right? We uh, found as 3 minus 4x, and the derivative of 5 plus 4x we found as 4. So we're going to substitute those values in here and just kind of plug all this in into this uh, um, function here. Let's go ahead and do that now. And we do when we do that, we get h prime x equals 3 minus 4x, which again is the derivative of that first function times the second plus that uh, first function times the derivative of the second function. All right, so here is the product rule, all kind of mostly simplified, right? So at this point forward, to get the final answer, we just got to go ahead and apply our handy-dandy algebra skills. And we got to multiply these guys together, multiply this together, and simplify, right? So be careful because calculus students tend to make a lot of algebraic errors. It's just normal. Uh, so when you're doing calculus, not only do you have to keep all these concepts of uh, what you're learning about calculus in mind, you really have to be very careful with the algebra because... Uh, just because you're in calculus doesn't mean you're <laughs> somehow, you know, above and beyond making these little algebraic errors. It's very, very common. I would say, oh, in my experience, maybe like, oh, maybe 50% of the time, if you make an error, it's probably not because you don't understand the calculus. It's because you're making some little arithmetic mistake, you know, something that you would do in Algebra 1, Algebra 2, student level, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and just multiply these two things together, these two binomials, and you get this. Okay, we're keeping things in brackets, and then we'll do the distributive property here. We get this, and you can kind of follow along uh, and do the math yourself if you like. And, of course, I'm just simplifying along the way, and when we finally get done, we get h prime, the first derivative of that function, which was a product. Remember, the, regular, um, the original h of x uh, function was a product, and here we have the first derivative of that function, and here it is right in its glory negative 24x squared plus 4x plus 15. Okay, so that is the answer. Now, again, you could have taken the approach. Let's go way back up here. You could have said, okay, you know what? I don't want to deal with the product rule. I forgot the product rule. Uh, it's just too confusing for me right now. So you could have just multiplied these two together and had this one big function and then went ahead and found the derivative uh, that way, and that's equivalent as well. You would have gotten the same answer, but you need to know the product rule. In calculus, there's no way of getting around, uh, around it. So hopefully this is a fairly uh, basic example to um, you know illustrate uh, finding derivatives using the product rule. Now, one thing I can suggest uh, to you, uh, it's one thing that would work for me, and it might work for you, is all these rules here, okay, you're, you know, depending on how your notes or your textbook or how your teacher's writing them, um, try to find a little bit simpler way to illustrate these rules, okay? So maybe instead of using function notation like here, like f of uh, x times g of x plus, let's say, f of x times g of x, and then we'll have uh, prime and then prime like so, okay? So just find, try to find ways to simplify these formulas or maybe put like first function, second function, come up with little mnemonics, little tricks. As long as you understand how to apply these rules, okay, you'll be okay, all right? It'll save you, you know, a lot of writing in your notes, but, you know, take notes that make sense for you, all right? And of course, you gotta make sure that they're mathematically uh, correct, but, you know, in calculus, there's tons and tons of rules, uh, derivative rules, integration rules, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so anyways, um, hopefully I earned a thumbs up. <laughs> if I didn't, listen, leave me some feedback either way. But, uh, you know, um, if you're studying calculus, you've got to not avoid the product rule. Embrace it. It will definitely, um, you know, help you out as you learn calculus. All right, so with that being said, Definitely appreciate your time and have a great day.